Live streaming of SDR news coverage at HP Discover has been made possible by Intel Corporation. Check out Intel Open Port IT, where you can connect with your peers at Intel on industry topics, best practices, strategies, and more. And by Microsoft, where HP and Microsoft are working together, combining their respective strengths to deliver innovative technologies to help advance your business. Hey, welcome to our coverage here at HP Discover. I'm Andy McCaskey from SGR News, and as you saw, our live streaming of the event is made possible by Intel and especially by Microsoft. And we're fortunate enough to have Kelly Lockhart with us here, and she is uh, with Microsoft and is a, a senior product marketing partner mar marketing, marketing manager. manager. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And so, so what we're going to be talking about is uh, something that you may have seen on SDR News, uh, the HP Cloud solution for, for Microsoft. And uh, so Kelly, just very briefly, what is the HP Cloud solution? So Microsoft and HP have had an ongoing partnership for many years, um, and we've specifically invested in our private cloud technologies, all based on HP's converged infrastructure platform including their network storage and compute platforms. Um, in addition to the Microsoft Windows Server uh, 2012 and System Center 2012 software. All of that together makes up um, our, our cloud solution for Microsoft. And it's really, it's built to uh, create a scalable high performance um, uh, platform to help organizations virtualize and go beyond virtualization um, on the private cloud. Oh, we had such a wonderful example of this at the uh, Microsoft Management Summit, mm -hmm. the MMS, and uh, we've got several, if you've watched on SDR News, we've got several uh, interviews that are up. One of them is uh, Steve Cole from the Extreme Consulting Group who actually implemented the, uh, the, the um, uh, server uh, system in a what was called the server aquarium. And then Dung Wong uh, gave us a tour of the server query. But you're, you have the final results as far as the numbers and, and so forth. There were about 650 workstations in that system, right? Yeah, there were about 650 workstations. And by the end of the week, um, they had logged right around 48,000 VMs throughout the week. At one point during the week, they tried to see how many they could get up to at one point. And um, I believe the final tally was in the ballpark of 8,300 virtual machines running at the same time. Right, wow. So very and, impressive. And, yeah, indeed, and, and it was on really a minimal amount of hardware. But the, but the really exciting part was that it wasn't even breaking a sweat. It wasn't even coming close. I think the final tally on the utilization of the hardware was somewhere in the ballpark of 15 to 20%, so lots mm -hmm. of headroom. Right, yeah. So, so how, how is that going to trans translate into a business advantage for a customer who might deploy this? So customers um, really benefit from the HP uh, cloud solution for Microsoft when they want to not only just um, virtualize their systems, but they really want to get as much efficiency out of their hardware as possible. They want to pool their resources and make um, resources available to their end users whenever they want to. So it, uh, it really allows them to um, get the most out of their resources, reduce costs at the same time, um, and really help expand their business. But now, HP has, what, easily 30 years of experience working together to solve problems for, for, for customers. Is there uh, is something uh, about the HP Cloud solution for Microsoft that was particularly hard to, to, to develop, to, to pull together? I don't know that it was particularly hard. I think it's, it's uniquely valuable to customers um, because you've got these two organizations who are so, um, so well and so good at what they're doing. And working um, together. And working together. Mm -hmm. um, that customers get a lot of value out of this joint solution. They're jointly engineered, jointly integrated. Um, designed to work well together. So for example, the management tools through System Center 2012 are tightly integrated, not just working well together, but engineered together with HP's Insight Control. So what that means to a customer is they can look at one console through System Center and not only see what's going on with their software, 
but also through the insight control integration, really look all the way into the server and the hardware and see um, what's going on with their hardware and their software and their applications. So as you're talking with customers and with, with HP system integrators here at HP Discover, what, what's the, the, the most common question that's asked or, or something that people are particularly enthusiastic about? Um, well, as one who's standing at the Microsoft booth, we get a lot of questions about um, the, the advanced features of System Center 2012 as well as Windows Server 2012. And we have some great uh, uh, sessions here to talk about that. A um, lot of people talking about how they've virtualized a lot of their applications, and now they're looking for ways to get even more out of their solutions and um, save costs and make applications more widely available to customers when they need it on the devices they need it on and how they use those applications. So the HP solution, Cloud Solution for Microsoft is a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity for us to talk about um, because it really does offer customers of all sizes, ranging from small business customers um, all the way up to the largest enterprises an option for cloud computing. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously there, there are resources at, uh, at, at hp.com to learn more about this. Are there, is there a particular section of the Microsoft site that addresses some of the capabilities? Yeah, we do have, um, so for the Windows Server and the System Center, and actually the cloud technologies as a whole, we have a com complete area dedicated to that, as you might imagine. But TechEd, our, our customer facing event um, at Microsoft just happened last week mm -hmm. and we have a large number of resources um, and sessions that were filmed specifically on the Microsoft technologies um, that anyone can access today and I would certainly recommend that people take a look at that. Excellent, excellent. Well, Kelly, thanks so much for joining us here today and uh, we look forward to having a chance to talk with you again. Thank you. Okay. So, there it is. Uh, please go check out the uh, uh, MMS uh, 2013, those uh, videos for uh, a, a real-time demonstration of uh, the, the capabilities of uh, HP Cloud Solution for Microsoft. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andy Bikaski for SDR News.